Hello, this is Danny Blythe from CICM. Um, we're looking at pulse shape. Please pause and read. So if a normal pulse has a nice wave to it, a slippery pulse shows an excess of body fluid. It feels like it comes and goes slowly and lazily. Whereas a choppy pulse feels bitty and fragmented. My picture's not very good. This one isn't very good. It doesn't feel jagged. It feels rounded and gritty. So a slippery pulse feels like there's too much fluid, whereas a choppy pulse feels like there's not enough. Something missing. So if a normal pulse has a nice wave to it, tight and wiry pulses both feel somewhat flattened and hard, lacking a wave. The tops feel hard and rounded off, but both full. Um, the wiry pulse feels string-like and hits up against the finger, whereas the tight pulse feels like twisted rope and it either rebounds either side of the finger or it feels like it's being pulled in like a taut rope. So slippery and choppy pulses are opposite, an excess and a deficiency of body fluid. The character for uh, a slippery pulse has water on the left, and on the right, bone. So like wet bone, hence slippery. Like an oily ball bearing, smooth and overly rounded. This kind of excess of a wave slips under the fingers like pearls rolling in a basin, like raindrops rolling on a lotus leaf. They're all giving images an excess of body fluid. So clinically, an excess of body fluid might be damp. It might be phlegm. It's a good sign in pregnancy, whereas a Choppy pulse tends to be not such a good sign. A pregnancy should involve an excess of body fluid. It can also be stagnant food and it can be a, a healthy pulse. The chi and blood are somewhat abundant. So the Mai Jing says the slippery pulse comes and goes, advances and retreats with uninhibited flow. It's spreading and turning, weighing gently away. And it also says that the slippery and rapid pulses are similar. So the choppy pulse the character again shows water on the left hand side and on the right hand side we've got four footprints um, going in slightly different directions. So gives the, this gives the idea of irregular like climbing up a mountain and having to put your foot in different places and water so like a choppy or a regular sea like a rough sea. So it can be the shape of the pulse can be rough gritted gritty or jagged, this image of like a bitty rough pulse um, rather than one that's nicely rounded. It can be irregular in its strength and shape. So rather than getting a nice even waved pulse, which would be normal, you get one that comes irregular in its quality or its shape. If it's the rhythm feels irregular. They say the threes and fives are not adjusted. Remember, four should be a normal um, speed. It feels like it's irregular, but it isn't. It speeds up and it slows down. That's a choppy pulse. And finally, lacking a wave. So a normal pulse should have a nice wave. Sometimes with a choppy pulse, it can feel like the edges have been chopped off. like a knife lightly scraping bamboo, that rough feeling. Raindrops in the sand, like falling in slightly different places, that irregularity, um, like sick silkworms eating leaves. So when the silkworm eats a leaf normally, it's nice and even. When the silkworm's sick, you get an irregular edge to the leaf. So that's what it means by sick silkworms eating leaves. Beat arrives, but not all at once, and falls away, but not immediately. So the choppy pulse, if it's deficient, shows a deficiency of body fluids. So this can be blood, can be body fluids, could be kidney yin. Um, often when there's seminal emissions or threatened miscarriage, you get the choppy pulse. If the pulse is full, it means that there's a stagnation, um, of, usually of blood, sometimes with chi stagnation, foo stagnation, or obstruction of phlegm alongside it.
that my Jing says the choppy pulse is fine and delayed, it's coming and going is difficult and dissipated. Possibly one beat stops and returns again, in other words it possibly feels irregular. The wiry or the string like pulse, like a guitar bow or a zither string, feels hard and taut. Rebounds against pressure at all levels, not fluid or wave like this, as we said, this kind of slightly sawn off top to the pulse. It means that the flow of chi is restricted, so it can be a full liver harmony like liver chi stagnation, liver yang rising, liver fire. Um, chi stagnation, pain, obviously when there's pain there's obstruction. Um, phlegm can obstruct the chi and also it can be a Shaoyang level disease in terms of six, uh, six levels or a heat cold complex. The Mai Jing says the wiry pulse, um, lift it, it's not there, pressing it adds a bowstring shape. The tight pulse feels taut, forceful and tense. It feels like it bounces from side to side, um, like twisted rope. Uh, like a rope being pulled, like fingers on a tightly stretched and twisted cord and snapping back and forth. So this idea of it hitting one side, hitting the other side of the finger. And a tight pulse can mean cold. It can be exterior cold if it's floating or an interior cold condition if it's deeper. Um, stagnation of cold or of food and it can mean pain and again it's usually pain associated with cold. The Mai Jing says the tight pulse is rapid and its shape resembles twisted rope. So that's a brief introduction at undergrad level to pulse, the four shapes of the pulse.